Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Audi TT. Then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. We'll get the air conditioning on though. It's a two litre TFSI Sport Quattro S-Tronic. 2011 on 11 plate, two owners from new and a full service history. It's done 71,518 miles. Last serviced on the 22nd of the 3rd, 2019 at 68,501 miles. MOT is until the 5th of the 2nd, 2021. Fuel economy. Urban, 28.5 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 49.6 miles per gallon. And combined is 39.2 miles per gallon. A 0 to 60 time of 6.2 seconds. A top speed of 148 miles an hour out of a 208 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. It's the Quattro version. It's got the uh, chrome trim around the front grille there, the Quattro badge, chrome trim around the fog lamps, a deep spoiler at the front there, 10 spoke alloy wheels, power folding door mirrors. It has the spoiler which you can raise inside the cockpit or it will come up automatically at speed. You can either open the boot from the switch on the driver's door or from the key. Um, the cars are three door, quite a lot of room in the back. The rear seats fold flat. The load cover is attached or half of it is attached to the tailgate so uh, it moves out of the way when you lift the tailgate up. Nice uh, kind of aluminium fuel flap makes a feature of it so it's got a great service history um, I really like Audi TTs they're probably uh, one of my favorite sports cars I remember when they came out they were they were just so different to uh, to everything else on the road really fantastic shape and the Quattro version really super to drive you, you you know you it gave you the ability to drive which was beyond your skill set with a with a four-wheel drive it sticks to the road like nobody's business uh, it'll go around a roundabout as, as if it's stuck to it even with the four-wheel drive i don't think the ride's as harsh as say a bmw that's that's fitted with run flats so you, you've got all the grip uh, and not really uh, too many of the drawbacks, i.e. noise and, and feeling like you're grinding the wheels down the road. Got power folding door mirrors. Let's just see here. Height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel. And it's the uh, Audi automatic gearbox here. So just stick it in drive and let's go oh it is okay that's that's kind of a front central armrest which is on the the handbrake there and two cup holders here let's get going just adjust the door mirrors so as i say th these make you think you're a better driver than you are um, and I've got to say uh, it's probably about 12 18 months ago that um, we sold an older Audi TT to the chef at Knock Derry House and Knock Derry House is, is one of my favorite places and, and certainly they've got a fantastic uh, <laughs> well fantastic restaurant there and I've, I've stayed there in the past and when he when he said he wanted to buy it I volunteered to take it up so me and my girlfriend we don't do deliveries except if you're the chef in a, a hotel I like um, so me and my girlfriend took it up to Scotland and I I, I drove this and it's, it's quite a long time really since I've, I've just jumped in a car to drive uh, and go for a, a leisurely drive I'm always busy and I'm always working and, and kind of I'm always driving but usually for work and not for, for pleasure and I had to say this I think it was an 03 
And the, the drive up was a joy, and certainly the drive through the, the Scottish countryside to get to the hotel, it was just superb. And, and I think that car was about £3,000. Now look at that. Don't go too fast there. But it, two litre engine, really nippy, nice and quiet all the grip you could possibly wish for and it's really really nicely finished off i like this i i, I really do the you know the clicky switches it's finished in aluminium all around the the switches feel like the the i don't know I, i've seen worse switches in lamborghinis the the they're really lovely this aluminium finish on the gear tunnel just everything about it is, is really nice and it's like a proper sco uh, sports car should be um, not too much technology that's it that's actually in sport so we'll put it in drive because it's uh, in sport it holds it in gear as longer than uh, or as long as possible so you get the maximum revs and so on but here we go we'll just go You feel all the wheels gripping, it's superb. Got paddle shift here on the steering wheel so I can change down there and up on the right hand side. You can also knock the steering, steering, <laughs> the gear selector across there and I can change down by pulling back towards me or up by knocking the gear stick away from me. There we go. We'll put it back in drive. Here's the button for the rear spoiler that deploys the rear spoiler. And it's a, it's a nice looking rear spoiler. Not like say the one on the early Porsche Boxsters. This is, this is a real bad corner here. And I've, I've seen many people come to grief, especially the ones that go around the outside when it's wet. But, you know again with this you you get the feeling you could just tip it into the corner and you'd get round no matter what speed you were going great driving position the seats are, are superb nice sport seats and this is my I'll, I'll go through it all again because nobody believes me I prefer the look of leather I would rather have cloth to, to actually drive, um, but as a really, really good compromise, this Alcantara and leather, the Alcantara, you don't get too hot or too cold when you sit in it, and it still looks really, really classy. One of the things with cars these days, and I've, I've just, we just had to do a, a small job on a Land Rover Discovery, and in the old days, it was a kind of a vinyl roof lining and, and there were steel hangers in you you had to hook the hangers in the the sides there and then stick them round the door when you took the headlining out or fitted a sunroof and then they went on to kind of these cardboard things one piece that as the, the name would suggest they, they just go up and, and kind of fasten and, and clip in but not the not that you spend a lot of time looking at the headlining, possibly. But this, it's it's really nice. It's a it's a real nice feel. It's well padded, and it's it's made out of several pieces, and it's kind of sculpted as well. So it's you get the maximum headroom, and it looks really nice. It looks like it belongs in a in a a Bentley or something. When you when you change when you change direction like like so, you you really go. Only the slightest input on the steering wheel, and you, and you've you're across the lane, so the the steering is really responsive. It's a nice instrument display. Rev counter on the left, 
coolant temperature, top middle left, fuel gauge top middle right, middle bottom is your um, information display. On the right hand side you've got your speedo, milometer and uh, also trip counter. This car's got a great service history. Uh, which I'll try and remember to cut in or tell you I've, I've, I've forgotten the service information I've forgotten my spec sheet so I'm going to have to do all the other stuff when I get back and, uh, I'm just going to slot in here proper handbrake as well and uh, I suppose that, that armrest there is, 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 qu is quite nice because that, that's how I would normally drive, I suppose. So it's just about the right position for me. The seats are height adjustable as well. There we can change the information display. That's telling me how far I, need, I can go before I need to fill up. Outside temperature, which is 29.5 at the moment, and they're telling me I'm doing 34 or well, 37 miles to the gallon at the moment. Average speed of nine miles per hour. Well, I've, I've just been ticking over while I've been taking photos. So it's got everything that you could need front electric windows it's, it's this round honestly there must be a magnetic field or something around this roundabout and it and it it attracts all the lunatic drivers Just show you going around this the, the four-wheel drive going around this roundabout. Not going too fast, but just just how it holds and you can hug the kit. Oh, that's uh, the centre brake light bulb has just gone. That's uh, convenient, right on a test drive. Here we go. So it just digs in. There we go. Great handling. And great braking too. Lights caught me out there. Nice exhaust note as well. I just, I just like the whole setup of the of the cockpit, and and just everything about it really. This, uh, that stretch of road does get everybody really if you drive in the outside lane because you're turning right up here people drive behind you flashing you and, and giving you grief and if you drive in the left people like me nearly cut you off and uh, stop you turning right here we go look at this
beautiful. It's a real joy to drive. Gearbox is fantastic, gear changes are seamless. Wipers and washers are working good. And the, of course the Quattro, the four wheel drive system. Um, I used to be a big rally fan and uh, when the Quattro came out, it was uh, just blew everything away. That's uh. It's a, it's a really, really nice car. A great value for money. Lovely inside and out. Brilliant service history. Um, great colour combination too. Quite uh, subtle and classy. When they, when they first came out, they, they all seemed to be that metallic blue. Denim blue, I think it was called. And, and I've had a few of these. I really like them. But a few of them to uh, which I bought specifically to use myself. So I'll, I'll finish the test drive there, and uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if it's been any benefit, and perhaps give us a thumbs up or help some videos which are doing really well these days. We're on our way to 15,000 subscribers with. Um, God, was it 17, 17 million viewing hours? It was a lot anyway. So, uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.